Welcome back. I'm Andy Rovat, 2008 Olympic and Spartan Kids Coach. Today I have Chewy with me and Catherine, and we are going to bring you the Spartan Kids Base Camp. That stands for Battle, Athletic, Skill, and Exercise. And today we are going to work on our strength, flexibility, mobility, balance, and movement. And so before we start, we want to say the Spartan Base Pledge. So put your hands up, say it loud and proud, and repeat after me. I. I. State your name. Promise to learn one thing in today's practice. Promise to learn one thing in today's practice. I promise to leave better than I started. I promise to help somebody else do the same. And most importantly, I promise to have fun doing it. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start with our athletic warm up. So we're just gonna start jogging back and forth, move those feet, move those hands, right? And so part of this, remember, I went over it yesterday. The first thing you can't control is yourself, right? And that's your strength, flexibility, mobility, balance, and movement. And so right now we're just moving. Circles to the right. Getting that body moving, getting it ready, warmed up for the later skills that we're bringing to you today. Unwind and go to the left. We got our skills later, our circuit, our battle. We got it all. Great job. Let's get back to the middle. We're gonna do our lateral shuffles. Right, just shuffle back and forth. Move those feet side to side. Again, every sport you play, you're gonna be in this lateral movement, right? Get down in your wrestling stance if you do that, your basketball, whatever sport you play. You're gonna move side to side, volleyball. Good job. All right, now karaoke. Back and forth. One foot in front of the other. To the back. Good job. Just moving in place. So many different directions in this warm up. It's great. And we keep consistent because we're building the habit in this athletic warm-up so we know the amount of energy we have for the skills, the circuit, and the battle. Okay, good job. Now we're gonna get back in the middle. We're gonna do our balance, which is hop on our right foot, forward and back. Right, forward and back. Hop on that right foot. Good job. Fall down, get back up, try again. Side to side. There you go. Keep it up. We're doing great. Circles to the right. To the left. Good. Let's switch feet. Shake it out, maybe. Now we're going to hop on our left foot. Forward and back. Go. Side to side. Circle right. Good job, Catherine. Doing great, Chewy. Other way, circle left. Unwind. Good job. All right, shake it out a little bit. That's the toughest one in that warm up. Now we are going to do our hip mobility. So we're gonna do our high knees. So get those knees up. Over exaggerate, really get them up. There you go. All right, now butt kicks. Knees down, feet up. Get that. Right, Chewy? If you need help, I'm really good at it, Catherine, right? That's what they say. All right, now outside kicks. There you go. 
Great job. Knees in, feet out. Working that rotation of our hips. Good. Inside. Knees out, feet in. There you go. Amazing. Keep moving. Good job. All right, now we're going to bring it down. We're going to do our level changes. So pretending we're picking up our laundry, right? We're picking up toys. We're helping mom and dad. We're picking up the dog's toys. What else is on the ground we could pick up? Books, maybe? What do you think's down there? Ooh, yeah. Marbles. Good job. A couple more. All right, let's go all the way down. Butt to the heels and drop. Good job. Go side to side maybe, right? Getting a little fun, right? There you go, a little spin. Just have fun with it, right? That's what we want. There you go. Good job. All right, now we're gonna level change up. We're gonna do skips first, right? Come jump off of one leg. All right, that's one foot, reach out. Grab those apples, grab those oranges. What else is up there? Pizza and chicken. Oh, peaches. <laughs> I was like, pizza, huh? All right, now two-legged jumps. Jump up, shoot that basketball, do a 360 spin, spike that volleyball, you name it. We can do it. There you go, jump up. Awesome, doing good. I love it, one more, Let's get it up. Nice, now we're gonna do our foot fires. You guys ready? You ready? Let's hit it, go! Move those feet, pump those arms, pump those arms. Right, there you go, and break. Good job, shake it out a little bit. Now we're going to do our dynamic stretch routine. So we're gonna start with our neck, Let's roll it side to side, forward and back. There you go, side to side. Good job. Let's keep it moving. Work our wrists. Let's get those guys going. Right? Wrists are very important, especially when we do our inverted balances. We got one today. All right, shoulders. So hop around, forward and back. Right, circles forward, circles back. Move them every direction, side to side, right here. Keep that mobility going. Good, let's get the hips. Moving on to the hips, circles both ways. Just moving our bodies, warming up all of our joints, all of our muscles. That's our mobility and our flexibility, right? Flexibility is muscles, mobility is joints, right? Knees, inside to out. There you go. Outside to in. Perfect. All right, let's do our ankles. Ankles out, both left and right, forward and back. Whatever feels good, get that in. All right, now we're gonna do our kicks. So we're gonna kick and twist. Don't feel that in your low back. Crack your back again. That's great. It means it's working. Giving yourself some traction there. Some rotation. Awesome, let's kick to the side. Good. All right, now kick straight up.
go. One more. Let's kick back. Nice. Good job. All right, now let's do our rotations, our trunk rotation. Feet shoulder length apart, maybe a little further. Left arm forward, right arm back. Reach. Try to separate your arm, pull two different directions. And switch to the other side. Here you go. Reach, one more. And back the other way. Awesome. Now we're gonna do our around the world. So our big circles. Get that back arch going. There you go. Couple each side. Nice, now windmills. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Reach up to the ceiling and switch to the other side. There you go, and switch. One more. There you go. Awesome, now we're gonna do our lunging. So we're gonna lunge to the left. Right leg straight. Butt down. Remember, if you keep your foot flat, or if you keep it up, it gives you two different stretches. Right, keep it flat, put it up. Let's switch to the right. All right, let's go back and forth. Use your hands on the ground, hands on the knees if you need to. Go no hands if you can. Right, really work that mobility of your hips. Feels great. All right, then let's lunge forward on our mat. Go right leg forward, left leg back. Let's lean into it. Feel that in your hip flexor here. Keep those hips square. All right, let's switch sides. Great job. Lean into it. Perfect. Now we're going to our downward dog. I'll do this aside again just so we can see it. Just downward dog, shake those legs out a little bit. Those hips side to side. Shake the legs out. Let's walk our hands to our feet. It's hang heavy. Rag down a little bit, grab your elbows. Soften your knees, they don't have to be straight. Keep them soft. There you go. Walk your hands back out. Roll out your neck a little bit more. Walk our feet to our hands. Go, one more rag doll, side to side. Doing great. All right, let's go to our front of the mat. And we are going to do our backward arches. So we're gonna start down. And we're gonna kick our feet over. Just kick the feet over. And go back to forward fold. Kick them over. And you can pick one up. Keep them straight up. Go side to side. Left. Right. Let them. All right, now let's get to our bellies. We're going to do our scorpions. So arms out to the side. I just kick one leg over. Try to keep your shoulders on the ground. There you go. Ooh, that's a good one. Catherine's got really good motion here. That's great. Awesome, now we're gonna do our cobra. Just push up, arch that back, look up. Maybe left shoulder, right shoulder, over, side to side. All right, go down. Now we're gonna do our Superman. Hands out, arch up, down. Good, arch up, down. 
Alright, now let's do our bow pose. Grab your ankles. If you can't grab your ankles, we're gonna do Iron Man. Hands back. There you go. Good job, Catherine. Go ahead, kick up, Chewy. There you go. Arch. And down. Just do a couple times. Up and down. There you go. One more. Up. Great job. Alright, last part here. A little child's pose. Get the shoulders warmed up a little more. Try to reach to the front. Go side to side. Get that stretch in your side. Stretch in the other side. Great. Now we're warmed up and we're ready to work on our skill. So the skill we're working today, we're doing inverted headstands again. And so do it to your level. And so Catherine, she's still working on it. I'm going to assist her. Chewy, he's gonna do different levels. He's gonna start touching his toes, maybe do a crow pose up. Go ahead, go ahead, start doing it. Just on your own. If you need help, you could use the couch, right? If I was a couch and Catherine was kicking up, she could put her back up against the couch. She could put her back up against the wall, right? She, she's gonna learn how to use her, yes. Use her hands to balance. You, there you go. Great job. A couple times on your own, shake it out if you need to. Good job, Chewy. Do those toe touches, build that core strength. Great. Go ahead, shake it out. Let me try, try another variation. Right, so Catherine, maybe just put your knees on your triceps. So get down, I'll show you. Put your, get on your toes. Yeah, yeah, put your head down, put your head down. Yeah, try to keep your, there you go. Now try to pick your toes up. Here you go, just pick it up. Pick it up and kick your legs up. Go ahead, kick up. There you go. That's eventually how you're gonna get up. Keep that balance. Kick up one more time. Good job, Chewy. Good job. This is a great skill to have, right? We know how we stand up as humans on our feet all the time, but how often do we ever get to work upside down? It's such a good skill to have. Think about the balance you're gonna build. If you could stand upside down or walk on your hands, you're gonna be able to do so much more on your feet because your body's gonna know just everything, right? That's called proprioception, that's balance. There's little fibers in your muscles that tell your body where it is in space. And so that's why we work on our balance, to work our proprioception skills. So now, I'm gonna have my man Jack give us some time. And so that was enough headstands, right? And now we're going to work our circuit. And so this is to build our strength, our athleticism, right? Because if you're not strong, it's gonna be hard to move. And so the first thing we're gonna do in this circuit we are going to work our plank, right? And so this is building our shoulder strength, our core strength. All right, righty Jack, give us a minute. There you go, get up, try to keep that back flat. Nice. Just hold it, breathe, focus on your breathing. Yeah, there you go, Chewy, stay flat, push. Jack, I need to see the time, bud. I need you to just hold it up. You can't move. There you go. She was doing some push-ups. Nice, we're halfway. We're at the 30 second mark. We're doing great. Just building up. You gotta go down to your knees, go down to your knees. Get in tabletop position, but try to push back up into that plank. Good, 15 seconds left. Yeah, she was moving forward. Right, remember we could pick up a leg, maybe pick up another leg. Catherine's doing a side plank, right? This is a side plank, and time. Good job, let's shake it out. Awesome. Now we are going to do the bird dog crunch. We're just gonna do these ones on our own. We're not gonna need a timer. We're just gonna do two sets of five on each side. And so we're gonna go from our tabletop position here. And from this position, we're gonna start with our right arm and our left leg. We're gonna 
extend our right arm and our left leg and bring it in and crunch. One, and out, bring it in. Two, extend, bring it in for three, extend, whoa. Bring it in for four, extend, bring it in, five, good. All right, let's try the other side. All right, we're gonna extend our left arm, and our left, right leg, and bring it in for one, extend. Hold it, bring it in, two, extend, bring it in, three, extend, bring it in, four, extend, bring it in, and five. Yeah, let's shake it out. We got one more round of those. Good job. We're doing great. Okay, now we're gonna do the right arm, left leg this time. All right, so be a strong base, hands down. Ready, extend your right arm, left leg. Bring it in for one. Extend, hold it, bring it in. Two, extend, hold it, bring it in. Three, extend, bring it in. Four, last one, hold it. A little longer, bring it in. And five, good job, Catherine. I'm trying to confuse you right there, no problem. All right, other side, left arm, right leg. Extend, hold it, bring it in. One, extend, hold it, bring it in. Two, extend, you got it, bring it in. Three, extend, let's hold it, bring it in. Four, last one, extend, hold it, a little longer, oh, you can do it, bring it in, and five. Good job, Chewie. All right, perfect, now the last one, Jack's gonna time us, he's gonna give us a minute, so let's shake it out. We got our squats, so just we're doing air squats. Hands down, reach up, that's what we're gonna do, right? We got a minute. So ready, Jack, tell us when. Go. There you go. Great job. We're just building that leg strength, keeping our chest up, looking up, keeping that back straight, building that full range of motion. Chewy is an animal over here. Look at how fast he's going. At home, go at your own pace. Look at that. Man. I love it, Chewie, you're doing amazing. Catherine, you're on my pace. We're going, we're moving, we're building the legs. Great job. Awesome, how much time you got, Jack? Yeah, I gotta see it. Okay, there you go. Almost done, keep it moving. Awesome. Everyone's doing great. And time. Good job. Good job. That's our circuit. We got stronger, right? So again, you can control yourself. You can control your environment, right? That means your environment. What environment are you in right now? You guys are at home. So how do you make that better? You help your parents clean. You get rid of things you don't use and need. Give them to others that may need them, that may use them. But well, you see people all over the country right now in need of something. And so if you could help other people out by giving them what you don't need, you might make their day, their year. You never know, right? Somebody may need something very bad in this time. So again, give back to others. Improve your environment. Make your bed in the morning, right? Get yourself better. Get your environment better. Start building those healthy, habits show up here every day right those are your actions you can control your actions right your actions are your habits what you spend your time on all right so now we are going to move on to the battle so Jack's gonna time us in mountain climbers right so we're gonna be down here and we're gonna bring our knee to our elbow 
And we'll try to do that as many times as we can in 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Keep count how many times you can touch. Shake it out, we got two more of those. That's great, right? It's amazing. Get that heart rate up, we're finishing strong. Right, keep track, how many you get? Whoa! 26, great job. I got 50 something, I don't remember. Shake it out a little bit. Woo, chewy, animal. Hey, this battle is about pushing yourself and competing with yourself to get better every time, all right? And even if you don't get better, you're still pushing yourself, right? Ready? Wow. 72, I think I had 71. Good job. See, every time, just push yourself. That's all you can do. So we're gonna shake it out a little bit, right? So things you can control, yourself, your environment, your actions, your situation. That means be present, be here. Don't think about what you have to do later. Think about what you have to do right now. Right now, we got one more mountain climber. We're gonna push it hard. We're gonna finish strong. We're gonna build ourselves into better human beings, right? And then the last thing is your story. What are you telling yourself? Are you a quitter? Are you a champion? Are you a hero, right? That's what you wanna be. You wanna be the hero of your own story. Ready, Jack? Set. Catherine, what'd you get? Whoa! You got so much better that time. What'd you get? Whoa! I went down. I think I had 72. I think that went up. I don't know. I can't remember. But hey, we pushed ourselves. We competed, right? We showed up today to get better. And so, in the beginning, I asked you to take the pledge. So, Catherine, what did you get better at today? Your headstand. How long do you think it's gonna take you until you can do it all on your own? Probably a week or two. I'm gonna push you and say, hey, let's do it in a week, and I'll keep you honest, right? I'll help you. Chewy, what did you learn today? He learned how to get faster at mountain climbers. That's an internal battle. And the three of us, we did number three. We helped you today. And we hope that you do the same by sharing this with your friends, your family, to get them to be better, healthier human beings, to make them happy, right? And I had fun. Did you guys have fun? Awesome. And we hope you enjoyed it. And by enjoying it, share it. And we will see you again tomorrow. Thank you.